let's talk about how much Rails is important in this overall architecture. So the thing is, even though this masterclass is called Rails Architects, uh, Rails is really a detail here. And this is the biggest mindset change overall that I'm expecting from many of you after the masterclass or already as part of the masterclass. I have, I've been talking to some of you, we've had some calls, we've had some sessions, video conferences and so on. And I've seen the moment, I've seen the moments where some of you already like clicked. And this is important because when we are creating Rails applications, uh, some of us here are creating Rails applications for more than 10 years. And it was always like, we are part of the Rails application, where to put it as a part of it, what's the, what's the expected directory structure. I've seen your homeworks, I see that many of you are experimenting with like where, where inside the Rails directory structure, like where to put bounded context, where to put read models. The truth is in this approach, Rails is a detail. And let me also admit one fact, the Rails event store, the Rails part is just for marketing. There is not really not that much about Rails in Rails event store. If you look at the border between our Rails event store and Ruby event store gem, the Rails event store is very thin. It's just a wrapper overall and migration and that, that's it. So the idea is, and many of you found it controversial that we suggest or show in the sample applications that the bounded context uh, directories are at the root level of Rails application, which I agree, this is controversial, but it was kind of like we want to emphasize the fact that it's at least at the level of Rails application. But even this is not enough, really. What I would go for, ideally, is that I would have a directory called like whatever is my application about, let's say it's a blog, and then I have certain bounded context. So there's like publishing, maybe there's some suggesting, maybe something else. And then there, there are the bounded context and the web application, the Rails application would be just one directory among that. So not only I would put those bounded context as part of the Rails application at the top level hierarchy structure, I would actually put it at the same level as the Rails application. This is only problematic Probably there is a workaround. If you know it, please tell me. But when we deploy stuff to Heroku or something like that, it's, Heroku expects that the, the Rails application lives in the directory, the main directory structure where we, which we push to, to Heroku, for example. So I, I, I wasn't really looking for a workaround, but maybe it's a simple thing. Overall, uh, it's all, I, I only do it this way that it's part of the Rails application because of deployment need, from reasons. Uh, I would go with the idea of having this as separate directories and even the read models. Uh, read models, I've often talked about it and uh, people rightly implemented this in their homeworks. Uh, read models, they are part of the Rails application, but they don't have to be physically part of the Rails application. So each read model can be a gem and you can actually, I would, uh, I would advise we will, we will uh, go there in the one, once we will talk about testing. Uh, read models and testing overall, the, the more advanced uh, testing patterns in, in later modules, then we, I will show you how to use it. But the idea overall is that we, we will have, when each read model is as a gem, you can deploy it separately. You can go with the microservices, for example, per each read model, but still you can require the gem as one process and test it as part of one process and then have the fast tests without all the problems with microservices and all the integration problems. But Rails is a detail. Uh, there was a really good video from uh, Uncle Bob, Rails is not your architecture. In a way, this video was appearing at the moment where I was looking for good ideas, like how to structure this application, so that was a good moment. I agree with this message, Rails is not our architecture here. Which also means that, for example, what was painful in the past with Rails, or maybe you still struggle with that in your applications, upgrades of Rails are trivially easy with this architecture once you are separated because what is upgrading is really details really the parts that are easily to be fixed or sometimes there's actually no fix at all you just upgrade rails and everything just works so rails is a detail for us now enjoy it